With the holidays just around the corner, we've got our next Gwent event. Last time it was Mahakam Ale event or something like that. And now we've got Salvine Holiday of the Dead. Uh, we're just going to take a quick look at each and every single one of these uh, in the normal versions. And I'll probably do the expert versions, you know, off camera or whatever. I say that even though <laughs> I didn't actually finish the Mahakam Ale event. It's never able to get out to it. Elven tradition holds on to Salvine's Eve, the dead crawl of their graves and demand food. The what is with these words? That is not a word. Tosintois? Tosintois? Do not believe in such superstitions, yet this year they were about to see the legend contain a grain of truth. Breaking dead with the dead. Let's check this out. Ever tasted any wine of something, then you know there's no finer beverage in the world. Drinking them, however, comes at a significant risk, and I do not mean hangovers. Allow me to explain. Vampires are particularly fond of the blood of men who have conquered... Est Est or Irvelus, absorbing, <laughs> absorbing their exquisite flavors and aromas. The first note of citrus, the black currant finish. Mm. At any rate, during one year celebrations of the Great Har Harvest, the inhabitants of a certain village near <sighs> Bauclair learn the dangers of their uh, libations. Is that a word? That can't be a word. I'm going to look that up. Libation. It is a word. A drink poured out as an offering to a deity. Huh. The hard way. Strengthen the palisade to 10 power to win the battle. I guess that's that thing. No. Maybe that's what it has to end up as. Kill the vampires with your archers and strengthen the palisade with your scythemen. Don't let three vampires miss in a row. That will trigger the trio ability. Okay. I don't know what any of this means, so... We're gonna we're gonna find out together. And also, I'm pretty sure there's some new cards in the game. I won't be commenting on any of those because I didn't I didn't actually check them out. Defend the village. Vampires attack from outside. Tell off only a rickety wooden palisade. That's also an unusual word. To survive, fortify the palisade by bringing it to at least ten power, and don't let the vampires overwhelm it. Remember, you can skip dialogue by keep. Sorry, I'm probably gonna skip most of the dialogue. Jermaine uh, of Fox Hollow, leader peasant. So I. If we're like going off of the Mahakam L event, like a lot of these are probably going to be new cards coming up, which is pretty neat. So the Palisade is a fence. When the scene has 10 and more power, hold on. Unexpected health will soon revive. When it's destroyed, I lose. Okay. Every turn at the start of your turn, banish self and reactivate your leader. Strain the Palisade of Winters. Oh my god, this is already really confusing. Damage in any by two, repeat for each other archer ally. Okay. <laughs> Even these freaking cards have different abilities. Damage the palace side by one, create an enraged catacan in your hand. Trio summon the knight of the night. Okay, so I don't want that. Okay, so so if this gets summoned, I lose. Okay. Um, damage the lowest peasant enemy by one. Great. Lowest peasant enemy by one. Interesting. Okay, so I, I imagine I start with the archer. Put the archer out. I deal the two damage. I don't need the extra damage because was, I only need the two. He's going to play this. He's not going to play this. So I'll save the archer. I'll play the Scytheman next. Okay. When do I play this guy? Transform all Scytheman allies into archers and archer allies into Scytheman. So you switch them. I don't know what that really means, though. So I'll kill both of these, and now I have three turns to wait. No, this is going to attack the lowest or lowest one, so it's going to kill that, but that's okay. I'll play this next. Bye. You know what? Maybe I need to... So I play this out, then I play this, and then I play this. No, I need to do this one twice. So I need to play this one first. At least if I'm thinking about this correctly. I need to swap these twice. Or something like that. Then I play these, and then I play this one one more time. Or something like that. I don't know. Guts! It's it's no use! Nothing hurts them! It's pretty neat though. This is like you're you're kinda imagining in your head this like epic battle. Uh shoot, come on. This epic battle between, you know, the vampires and your your units. Even though you know it's just in the cards. It's it's fun. It's good fun. I like it. I like it. I'll like, kill off the rest of these here. 
And I'll probably use one of these here. And maybe I'll use two. And then I'll send my leader back. Yeah, I think I'm pretty safe to do this. Maybe what I'm supposed to be doing is, maybe I'm playing it too passively. Oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't be letting my units die either. I'm probably just barely gonna skim by this one, but the harder one, I can see where the strategy comes in. Oh, he got his trio off, whoops. Oh no. Yeah, okay, so I can totally, I, I totally get where the strategy is going with that one. So I'm not gonna play that a second one, because I just wanna, this one, I just want this to be like a 10 minute kind of video. Even though we're already at six minutes. I'm probably not gonna read the rest of it. But this, is the, oh, I can't, I have to beat it first. Okay, well, I'll, I'll edit this part out where I win. Whew, all right, third try, and we got it. <laughs> that was it. That was cool. I liked it. Wait, it's still going? No, okay, we win. All right, all right. We even got our Witcher here. Wait, what am I doing here? Oh, tsh, nice. That was fun. Nice, cool little thing. I like that. I wonder if that's what the story mode is going to be like, if it's just a whole bunch of these kind of missions. I hope it, like, if it's a, like, a paid thing, right? I'm pretty sure it's a paid thing. I hope it's a, just a little bit more than that, but it's still pretty cool. You know, it's got voice acting, it's got text, it's got a setup, it's got a theme. That's all cool. It's got all the good stuff. Maybe just a little bit more. All right, knocking on Horror Store. <laughs> if not for Witcher, who happened to be in two songs at the time through a series of fortunate events. Nice one. Vampires might have slaughtered the whole village, leaving behind only desiccated... Desiccated? What is up with all these weird words that they're using? These are all, these are all like, uh, there's a lot of words that, that you're, that they're using that I would have to look up. And that's coming from a writer. Corpses suck dry from the last drop of blood. Though the dangerous past, Vesemir knew his victory was only temporary. The vampires will strike again once they heal their wounds. The villagers thus needed to strike while the iron was hot, finishing off the beast for good. The iron was hot. And finish the beast off for good? Vesemir commanded the peasants to grab their pitchforks and led them towards the notorious castle of Tessim, Mutna, the gates of which were closed tight. Destroy the castle gate. Don't let the vampires destroy a ram. The bovine lets you return units, including your leader, to your hand. Okay. Seems like it's going to be another tricky one. <laughs> so we'll lose one and then I'll just keep going until I win. Destroy the gate before the battle ends. You'll need your battering for this and make sure to defend it. If it gets destroyed, I will just. Your ballista will help repair the help I, I've seen that repel. Careful, man. Permanent resilience. Does that mean I go into a next round? Surely not, right? That would be weird. Every five turns damage a random enemy in lobster row by five. Damage the castle by the number of peasants on the row. Oh my god, there's so many effects to look at. It's kind of annoying, actually. Um, so we have this, play three scratch from the deck. Return a peasant ally to your hand. So is that, is that like, just gonna be like verbatim? Almost verbatim what this new card's gonna be? You get to return a card to your hand? Would they copy an ability from a leader? Probably not, right? Move an enemy row back. New machine ally, permanent resilience. Every three turns to the start of your turn, return to your hand. Damage all brawn to silver units on the opposite row by three. So how about we just deploy three Scythemen to begin with? Maybe right here? Break down the gate. We must get inside. Oh, I can just place them wherever. So I'll place one here. Aye. Place one here. Aye. Wait, that's not right. This harvest will be reaping black clad hands. Oh no, I think I messed up. Every turn at the start of your turn, damage the castle gate by the number of peasants on the row. No, wait, no, that's that's okay. Whenever a peasant appears on the row, damage a bronze or silver unit by three. If no, oh my gosh, there's someone to read. If not on the melee row at the start of your turn, move one row forward. If on the melee row at the start of your turn, damage run by four. 
Oh my gosh, this is complicated. I'll do this one here. And I put it here, here, Oop. here, there, boop, there, boop. Okay, good stuff. What is she doing? Every five turns, damage a random enemy on the opposite row by five and move to your melee row. What does that matter if it moves to the melee row? After three turns, then this activates. How long does this take? If not on the melee row at the start of your turn, move one row forward. If on the melee row at the start of your turn, damage a random enemy and loves to row by four. Okay. Heal a machine ally. That's not going to be useful now. Move an enemy one row back, and if it was bronze, it would damage by two. Repeat once. Peasant ally to your hand. Play, we'll play another three Scythemen, I think. Is that what I want to do? It says at the start of your turn. I imagine this is at the start of your turn too. Yeah. Um. I think I'm place one here. Maybe I will just kill all of them. Who knows? Maybe that's a huge mistake. Maybe I should just be front loading the melee row instead. Yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna keep doing this like. Over and over again. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna front load the melee right now. Oh no! <laughs> I thought it was gonna take one more turn for some reason. This is gonna be really difficult. After three turns at the start of your turn, move an enemy one row back. If it was run so repeat. Turn peasant out of your hand. It seems really difficult. So maybe I just do something like this. Don't lie this. And I move this back. And I move this back. And then like five of them are gonna move up. <laughs> Yikes. Oh no. This is this is difficult. Oh, uh, do they always hit the freaking ballista? Oh, whoops, I put them in the wrong, wrong row. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. Oh, I just lose. What? That's really hard. Unless I'm missing something. That seems crazy hard. Man, all right, back when I finish this one. Is that it? Please tell me I won off that. No, no, come on, come on. What was that? Okay, I think this is it. I think I finally got it. Man, that was, that was unexpected. If this is this difficult, how hard is it going to be later? That's just insane. Oh my gosh, that's difficult. It took me like what, five, like seven, six, seven tries? That is gnarly. Come on, you horse No wait, please tell me I don't just lose off that, right? No. Okay. The Witcher is out cold. Oh, Oh my gosh, that was hard. That was way harder than I was expecting. But very satisfying. That was a really satisfying uh, strategy that you had to come up with. That was fun. Alright, last one, Bloodthirst. The villagers managed to bring down the gate and force their way into the castle, yet they found they are now on their own. Without the Witcher, what chance of victory did they stand? Oh, in the slightest, especially as a higher vampire and thrall to bloodless like the beasts. The terrified peasants caught the creature's name screamed by his Bruxelles minions. Oh gosh. Emil Regis Rolek Terizzi Godfroy? One, two, three, four, five names. Jeez. All five of which I can't even say. Regis transforms and reactivates to the start of each round, meaning he can play, be played again with a new ability. If Regis creates rats in your deck, drawing or playing cards from it becomes risky. Catacanta develop a strength liking for bovine blood. 
He transforms and reactivates the start of each round. I Means he can play it again with your ability. If you create, so you don't want to draw too much. Okay, well, uh, following the general standard, you know, difficulty slope that these kind of situations go towards, or whatever, if that makes any sense. Uh, I'm probably just gonna fail this one, and then we'll call it a day, <laughs> because uh, it'll probably take me like an hour to finish it, and I just need to be done with this for now. Like this is gonna be hella complicated. Oh no, I've even got fog now. Apply a fog hazard. To what does hazard mean? Negative row effect. Huh. To all opposing foes, reactivate your leader. And transform it into Regis Blood Tipsy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You know what? I may just call it there. <laughs> you can find this one out for yourself. But they're all cool. All these challenges with their little bit of story, their kind of theme, their like, objective is really cool. I can't even, like, fathom how difficult the expert mode is going to be. That's got to be insane. Oh, you get a really cool border, though. Oh, you get a cool title, too. What's the border for? Oh, it's just that guy. Oh, I almost, I actually almost want to try and beat this whole thing. And when I say that, I mean without, you know, referring to a guide or something like that. Because that's just, that's no fun. Even though I don't really use a border. Anyway, that's it. That's the <laughs> Salvine Holiday of the Dead event. You have 15 days. That's not even until... Oh, it's... This isn't a holidays. This is, this is a, a Halloween event. For some reason, I thought I thought this was like a Thanksgiving slash like winter event because I saw pumpkins on a table. But I totally make and like you know harvesting like harvest. That's that's a totally a Thanksgiving thing. Anyway, that was fun. I'm really I hope they have one for like Christmas time. That'd be fun or like a New Year's kind of wintery kind of theme. That'd be cool. That's it. It's really fun. Thanks for watching.